All right, everyone, and uh, welcome back to uh, English 101. And today we will be talking about the genitive. So, it belongs to whom? You could say. It should answer that question for you. And let's just get right into it. Again, this is a short description or repetition just to get you guys back up to speed on what the genitive is and how it can be used. And as per usual, right down below here, you can find uh, a couple of quick exercises just to see if you remember and understand what's going on. So, let's go. So, basically, we have two versions of the genitive. It doesn't get a lot simpler than that. But, uh, so we have on one side, we have the apostrophes right here. And on the other hand, we have the word of. So, apostrophes over here. Uh, when it's singular, you use the apostrophe and the S. And when it's plural, you just use the apostrophe. Okay? We'll give you some examples to see what, show what's going on, but you'll get there. And then it is used for people, animals, countries. We'll see soon enough, yeah? And the word of is used for things and subjects which we'll get to in the next slide in three, two, one. Here we go. So, examples. So we have over here on this side, we have the apostrophe S, so just the apostrophe, and here we have the off. So, first example here, the woman's bike. That's singular, it's one woman, and it's her bike. So then we have apostrophe S. An hour's trip, singular. Apostrophe S. Then we have Chris's parents, singular. And here it's important because his name, Chris, ends with an S. Then you say Chris's parents. It's a singular version here as well. And then we check the plural down here at the bottom. The Andersons' home. Some people would pronounce it the Andersons' home. And the Andersons' home. Uh, in this case, uh, both is kind of accepted in spoken language, but this is how it's spelled. So, any questions on that? Can't answer them because it's not live. So, uh, go over to the other one here when we have off. So, the lights of the city, the name of the film, the hateful ways of grammar. All these things are, as you can see, things that show who owns something. Uh, it belongs to whom was a question we asked in the beginning. And here we show how it works. So it's the, so who owns the lights? Yeah, it's the lights of the city. So, so the name of the film, it belongs, the name belongs to the film. The hateful ways they belong to grammar. Or the bike belongs to the woman, or it's the parent belonged to Chris. Yeah, it sounds weird, but that's how it works grammatically. So, check out the uh, little exercise down below, and uh, I will see you guys soon in the next episode where we will talk about nouns, as we can see back here. So, have a good time.